Hey, how's it going? This is Chris over at 3D Palace. Great to see you. Okay then, what I have here is the Imperial Knight, or part of the Imperial Knight, from a tutorial I made for 3DS Max. Now, I'm going to show you a technique using Arnold um, that's going to help texture this fellow up without us having to unwrap all these polygons and build some complicated textures. Now, what I've got over here is I've got Arnold, I've just hit F10, and as you can see I've set target to active shade mode, renderer to Arnold, and down here I've got a very, very small preview, and that is because, if I just hit render, I'm not sure how well we'll see that, there we go, you can see now that it's going to update it in real time, okay, and I've got a big old HDRI map behind this as well, so, you know, We've got to be really careful here. I can't afford to put too much detail on, although you will be impressed by how fast it's kind of rendering. Very fast. Mm. Okay, now, just to point out, what I've done is I've gone into Arnold Renderer down here, and under Environment Settings, which calls up the environment and effects, I've just dropped a HDRI map. This isn't even a very high detail one, straight into the environment map as a bitmap. Okay, that's all I've done. And as you can see over here, under Common, I've got my target as Active Shade and my renderer as Arnold. Okay, that is it. Now, once I mash render, I can close down the other window because I'm not going to need it. And if you've got a second monitor, stick that over there by all means. Okay, but we're going to do our work here. Okay, now I'm going to pull up M for material. And you can see here's that plain blue material I was using. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my modes and I want to pull out a slate material editor which is this much more complicated and interesting looking one over here okay let me just bring this down a bit there we are now what I want to do with this is I want to build myself a material that I can apply to this using Arnold's triplanar mapping okay so for that what I can do is I can perhaps drag out a physical material from over here and you can just see it there and then if I go up here I can search by name so if you look up triplanar I can drag that out there we are and then I can take my tri triplanar and I can apply it straight to my base color map and then what I can do is I can take this node here and just drag it to here okay so you can see now we have this kind of plain clay model thing going on okay obviously this isn't what we're looking for but we've only just built ourselves a very basic map so far and uh, so what I need to do is just kind of add a little bit to this. Now, if we double click on our triplanar, we can see, okay, there's lots of options here, including input. Now for input, what I want is I want an image file. Okay, and if I type in image at the top, you'll see we've got the maps Arnold texture image. Okay, so I am gonna drag this to my input. Okay, now, oh, there's no file name there. That's correct, there isn't. So what I need to do is go in here and get a file. Now, fortunately, I already have a file in my materials library that I've created, which is basic metal coat one. Okay, and I'm gonna grab its diffuse, because that's all I'm really interested in. And look over there, you can see now what's happened. It's applied this material. Now, I'll try and get in a bit closer so you can kind of see, but there'll be a lot of kind of irregularities and rust patches and things like that that you may not be expecting simply because what it's doing is it's projecting things in three ways so what we have I'd like you to think of it this way is here's a plane okay and I am going to just quickly get my material I'll just use this one this one will do okay and just kind of get this into the right place. This is a very messy way of demonstrating it, but it's effective and it will work. So, what it's kind of doing is it's projecting one kind of down like that, then it's projecting another one over like that, and then it's projecting a third one like that. Okay, so at 90 degrees to each other. That's why it's called a triplanar map. However, what it's also doing is it's blending the edges on these. So it means you're not going to see any seams and you're not going to see any mess. You're just going to basically see the map come in. Now, the good thing about that is that if I was to just 
bring this up okay and go into my triplanar over here you'll see that I can do things like scale rotate and offset so if I change this to 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay as you can see we can kind of stretch and compress our material as much as we're wanting to and I'll just try and get this in the center so that's 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then if I bring it out maybe I can change the scale to 555 okay and it's going to seamlessly blend as we do this right um, over here you can change how much you want it to blend and how much you don't want it to blend um, so basically you can make it a lot more kind of blurred at the edges and things like that but this is really just a very simple kind of walkthrough of how you're gonna make that work okay so if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about um, doing some stuff with uh, Arnold stay put and try another one of our great tutorials and until then remember to drop by www.3dpalace.com there's a hyphen in there somewhere or go to our patreon page at patreon.com 3dpalace or go by facebook till then ttfn